Canva Video Editor is a very powerful video editing software. This video is a complete Canva video editing tutorial for beginners so that you can learn how to edit videos in Canva even if you've never edited a video before. When you first open Canva, you'll see a home screen that will look like this and there are a couple of ways that you can start a video. First of all, you can go into this videos tab and you will get a lot of templates that you can choose to work from, including mobile video, Facebook video, Instagram reel, TikTok video, and so forth. So you can click one of them to get started or you can go into create a design and search for what you would like to do. For example, you can start typing YouTube video and Canva will give you some ideas on the size of the project file that you want. So let's go with YouTube video 1920 by 1080p. So this way you can now see that we've got the canvas that looks like a horizontal video. And just to demonstrate to you, if I created a YouTube shorts video, which is a vertical mobile style video, then we will get a canvas that looks like this, a vertical video. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a standard horizontal video. So let's go here and let's now look at the interface. First of all, here at the top, you can give a name to your project file. For example, I can give it a name Bicycle Cities Video and that will be stored as the name of this video project. Next, this main area here is what is called our canvas. So this is the preview or our work table, so to speak, where we will be able to see exactly what we're doing at any given time. We can use the zoom control to make it smaller or larger. And you can also use this to go and preview it full screen. To get out of this, just hit escape. Now on the left-hand side, we've got all of these options, elements, text, brand, uploads, and so on. This is where you're going to be getting all of the resources and assets for your video. For example, if you wanted to use some of the stock videos that Canva actually includes a lot of, you could go to videos and then search the videos here. For example, you could search for Amsterdam and use some of these videos. You will notice that some of the videos have got this crown and they say pro, so you need to be a pro subscriber to use them. But you can filter them out if you go here into the settings option and then say that you only want to see free videos. Okay, so now we've got all of these videos that you can use as your own and you don't need to be on a paid plan to use them. So let's grab this clip here. Now you can see that this clip has been added to our canvas and this is where we can move it. So if we wanted it to occupy the whole screen, I can just align the corners over here and drag this out to make sure that the video fills the whole screen. Here at the bottom, you'll see we've got the timeline. So we can see that this clip that we have added is 13.8 seconds long. And this is the visual representation of this clip. I can click through here to skip ahead or go backwards. And I can click play to go from this position onwards. <laughs> Here we go, you can hear it playing. If you would like to upload your own footage, you can go to the upload section. And here you're able to upload your images, videos, and audio files. If you would like to upload a video from your computer, you can click on the upload button and it will appear here. Let's say we want to take one of these uploaded files. We can simply drag and drop it into the main timeline and you can see it's been added just after this first clip. Now, if I position the playhead just before these videos overlap and click play, you'll see that one of them changes into the other. Okay, here we had that crossover. Once you've got the clips added here, you can edit them. And the first thing that I'll show you is how to adjust the length of the clip. Let's say out of these 13.8 seconds, we only wanted to use the middle 10 seconds. I can click and try to find exactly where I would like the clip to start. Let's say I wanted it to start here. I could simply right click here and select split page or I could use the shortcut S on my keyboard and you will see that this has now split this clip into two parts. If I don't want this part anymore, I can click here and delete it. So let's hit delete page and now our video clip will start over here. Let's say I also didn't want this last second or so. I can now click S on the keyboard. You can see now it's been split off and I can just select this and click delete on my keyboard. And now I've just got this one clip which has been trimmed. We've trimmed the start and the end of this clip. You can also use these drag and drop controls to trim the ends and the start of the clips. We can now do the same. We can adjust the start and end positions of this clip here. So let's say I also want to trim it to perhaps eight seconds. Okay, and just like that, we've trimmed our clips. 
Now, let's say if I wanted to add the voiceover to this clip, I can go into uploads. This is the voiceover that I have prepared. So let's just add that in. You can see it's been added here. I can adjust it to start at the very start of this clip. Let's listen to it and just edit these parts to match the voiceover. Amsterdam is a city built for bicycles. It's very easy to get around the city using your bike. Bike lanes in the city are everywhere. That's what keeps the people fit. Now let's look how to add B-roll. So for this second section where it talks about getting around the city using a bike, I want to add a B-roll of a person on a bike. So let's go into videos. I've searched for a video of a bicycle so we can use any of this footage. You can of course upload your own as well. I'm going to take this clip over here and for that let's zoom in on the timeline. Here you can either zoom page or zoom thumbnails. So we're going to choose zoom thumbnails and that's actually going to give us easier way to control the timings on our timeline. So now that we're here, let's click S or right click and select split page. I'm going to do this right over here as well. Click S split page. And this is where I would like my B-roll footage to go, which is the footage of this person on a bike. The next part is important because if you simply grab this clip and drop it here, what is going to happen is that Canva is just going to shift the rest of your video clips further into the timeline. To prevent that from happening, position your cursor at the position where you would like the B-roll to appear. Take this clip and drag and drop it like this on the canvas. This way it will be coming up as an overlay so it's actually added on top of this clip. Now if you right click it, you will see there is an option that says hide timing and show timing. This is how you can choose where this video clip starts and where it ends. So let's use this to just find out where we want this clip to start. Let's play it. Amsterdam is a city built for bicycles. And now we want that clip to kick in over here. Okay, so we'll just adjust this and let's see where it needs to end. It's very easy to get around the city using your bike. So we want it to end right over here. So then we can drag this end of the clip towards the marker line like this. And now all we need to do is just adjust the position and the size of this clip like that. And we've now got this clip as an overlay over the main video. If you lose the audio file, just right click on here and this way you'll be able to see all the layers. Let's just preview it again. Amsterdam is a city built for bicycles. It's very easy to get around the city using your bike. Bike lanes in the city are everywhere. That so you can see now we've got nice B-roll overlay. Finally, let's adjust this last bit. At this point, I want the video to cut over to the next scene. So let's do that. This is where I want this running lady to appear and I want the whole video to end right over here at the very end. So let's preview the last bit. You're everywhere. That's what keeps the people fit. Perfect. Now we've got everything synchronized according to the voiceover. Let me show you how to add titles to the video so you can go to the text on the left hand side. And Canva actually has got a lot of pre-made titles for you that you can choose and you can edit them or you can just use them the way that they are. So just find something that you think looks good for your project. So let's say you might think that this looks cool and you'd like to have it added to your project. So just drag and drop it over here. Now everything is editable. I can type in Amsterdam here if I want to and I can select all of this and I can change the size of this. So I can just decrease the font size. Let's say I type in 200 into this. We can now center this like that just to make sure that it's appearing nice and centralized. And let's change this to say cycling like this. That's probably a little bit too large. So let's just resize this and maybe put it in the corner here. And this doesn't really stand out. So we can actually put a box underneath. So for that, we can go into elements on the left hand side here and just use one of these pre-made shapes. So perhaps I can drag this over here and then adjust it to the size of the text like this and like that and like that. And we can change the color of the background of this shape by going into color and then perhaps we can make it white like this. Lastly, let's change the color of this Amsterdam text to be blue. All right, so now we've got this title of the video. If I right click on this element, this is where I can adjust the length of how long this should appear for. Let's say I just want it to appear for three seconds. Note that for text, you can, of course, you can use these pre-made titles, but if you wanted to create your own, you could simply just go at a heading subheading and create your own from scratch. Now let's introduce some effects to this title. So for that, let's select the actual title like this. 
and let's click on animate. For example, I might want to have this title appear on the screen. Here you've got the basic text animations and let's try and see how fade looks. Here we've got the option to either do both or on enter or on exit. So we can apply different effects for entering and exiting. But let's say I want to have fade for both entering and exiting. Now I can also control the speed, how how quickly this will happen. So let's just have a quick preview over here. Let's observe how it fades in and fades out. Amsterdam is a city built for bicycles. It's very easy. Okay, you've seen this fade in effect. So this was cool. Let's now just apply another animation effect to cycling. So I'll go to animate again and I can use perhaps something like succession to it and I can just adjust the speed a little bit as well. And lastly, let's do the same thing to this white box. So I'll also go to animate. So we can choose perhaps this pop effect. You can adjust the intensity and the speed of it over here as well. Let's now just preview how everything looks together, all those elements. Okay, let's click play. Amsterdam is a city built for bicycles. All right, now we can see that the length of this is a bit too long. So I'm just going to select it and we can now see the timeline. So I just need to shorten this because this got a little bit out of sync. So let's now preview it again. Amsterdam is a city built for bicycles. It's very easy to get around this. All right, so that looked really, really cool. It was very easy to animate. Now let's discuss transitions. This is really simple to do in Canva. If I want there to be a transition between these two clips. So instead of being a straight cut. The city are everywhere. That's what keeps. Let's say I wanted to add a transition effect. All I need to do is just position the cursor between these two clips and click on add transition and choose one of these options. Let's say I wanted to add a slide, which is a nice simple effect. And let's now see how this works. Play. Lanes in the city are everywhere. That's what keeps the people. F All right, so you could see how now there was that eff effect of the transition added. Now I just want to cover some of the useful resources that I really love in Canva. Let's first go into elements over here. And I recommend for you to just have a look through all the variety of different things that Canva actually offers for you. There are these animated stickers and there are lots of them. So if you click on see all, you will actually see there are hundreds and hundreds of these animated stickers that you can use to make your video really, really cool. So for example, if I wanted to add this animated sticker over here, I can just click on it and it will bring it across. Okay, and it's very useful to highlight certain things in your video. You can of course adjust the timing of this sticker and there are literally unlimited varieties of what it is that you would like to add. For example, if you have a YouTube channel, you might use the subscribe sticker, which is really nice and cool and animated to add it somewhere into your video. There are tons of other elements like charts and tables and frames. And you can search, for example, if you wanted to add an arrow, you can search arrow like this and it will give you all of the different types of arrows that you can use. And a lot of them are actually free, which is amazing. We've already looked at the videos that you can find and you can use many of them for free. Just choose the free or the pro option. But another thing that we haven't talked about is the photos. There is also a huge variety of stock photos that you can use. For example, if you wanted to see the photos of bicycles, once again, you can just limit this to be free images only so you don't have to pay for them. And here are all the different images that you can use in your projects, in your videos. And even though they're just images and you're making a video, you can still use these quite often because if you drop it here to the end, you can apply animation to this image. So for example, if I choose this and then I go animate, and then I scroll down the bottom to photo movement, I can actually apply the zoom to it. And let's say I want to scale it. Okay. Um, this will basically then become an animated image. So let me show you what I mean. So see how now this is moving. So if you had some voiceover, you can actually just make videos like this with moving images. If you wanted to adjust the speed of your clip, you can do it. Just select the clip that you'd like to adjust the speed for. And then at the top left, go into playback and you can adjust the speed of the video by dragging this left and right. Let's talk about audio for a second. You can add music and various other audio files from here. So you can go into audio, see all, and then you can add all of this music that's over here. If you want to upload your own music, you can do that from uploads and then just go into audio and upload your own music file. Next, let's talk about adjusting the volume of your audio. So if I wanted to adjust the volume of this, I simply need to click on the audio file, then right click on it and select volume. And here I can adjust the volume either up or down to match exactly what I would like to happen in the video. Next, let's talk about color grading. Let's say I wanted to adjust the feel and the look of this clip. 
I would simply need to select it and then click on edit video here in the left hand side and it will give me a number of tools that I can use to adjust the look and feel of this video. So let's click on see all over here and there are some pre-made filters that I can apply with just one click. For example, if I wanted to apply this warm summer filter, I can do that and you can see now instantly the difference. I can apply the edge filter. I can apply the vivid filter to change how it looks. Let's now go back and look at manual adjustments. So over here you can adjust the warmth of the video just by dragging this bar left and right. You can also adjust the tint, so the color of it, and various other parameters like highlights, shadows, fade, to get the exact look of the video clip that you would prefer. Next, I want to show you something really cool that I've been using quite a bit in Canva, and that is AI. Next, I want to show you something really cool inside Canva. So if you go into Elements, you will actually find what's called AI Image Generator. So over here, you can click on plus and you can enter words into the description and it can generate some kind of an image, a custom image to help you with your video project. Now you can generate images, graphics, and even videos. So let's give video generation a try. So I'm just gonna say bicycle riding through Amsterdam and let's click generate video. And look at this, it's created a video clip for us that looks extremely real. So I can just drag and drop it over here into the timeline and let's just have a quick preview of how it looks. Okay, so let's look at this video clip. I mean, look how real it looks. If you're stuck for some footage ideas, you can certainly use this AI video generator to generate some footage for your presentation or video. Likewise, you can use the image generator to just generate a static image as well. Once you're happy with your video, you can go into the share dialog and this is where you can export and download it. So just go into the download area and choose the correct options that you would prefer. For a video, it's going to be the MP4 video. You can adjust the quality of it over here. Select the clips that you would like to download. Most likely it's going to be all pages. And from there you can click download and you're going to download your video. If you love video editing and you want to turn your video editing skills into income, then go to fastervideos.com. This is where you can access my training course for free. Here you can enter your email address and click the green button to get $0 access to my training course and community where I show how I personally make almost $1,000 a day sharing very simple videos on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram and Facebook. I'm also going to put a couple of other videos related to video editing that I think you're really going to love so check those out as well. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.